Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Autopilot by Queens of the Stone Age. Just before we jump into it, let you know you can now support me on Patreon. There's a link below, as well as a video linked explaining what that all is. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all linked below, as is a Spotify playlist that has got all the songs I've made tutorials for, so you can flick through it and see if you want to learn anything. Also, if you can like and subscribe, that'd be great. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Now, for this track, um, there's two guitar parts. Both are in standard tuning and using a pick. And I'll teach you the rhythm part first, and then I'll teach you the lead lines that come over the top. Um, all right, so for guitar one, the rhythm guitar, we've got a verse, the chorus, and the bridge. So I'll go through section by section, show you what uh, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you, and then I'll teach it to you. All right, so uh, guitar one starts with the verse, and it goes like this. So we're just staying in the one position for this whole whole verse. And you can bar the seventh fret with your first finger. And we're just kind of doing some hammer-ons with our third finger and then just a couple of other notes with our third and fourth finger. Um, so the first little bit, we're just hammering on to the seventh, sorry, to the ninth fret on the fifth string from the seventh fret that we've got. Uh, barred. So you sort of strum, and with this you pretty much want to be focusing on the bottom three to four strings. You can sort of be a bit loose uh, as long as you've got that firmly barred. A bit loose with your strumming. Um, yeah, just sort of nice and relaxed sort of feels this one. Anyway, so yeah, hammering on to ninth fret on the fifth string. So you hammer on. Hit the sort of the lower, lower string and then strum the lower three or four. Then we do hammer on, off, and hammer on again. So so the first chord. So that's kind of what you're getting um, in amongst all the strumming. Then we put our pinky down on the 10th fret on the 6th string. Play that twice. So yeah, And you're also keeping the 9th fret on the 5th string down. And then keeping this barred, the 7th fret. And we're going to hammer on to the, set, to the 9th fret on the 5th string keeping this 10th on the 6th down and then off again and then we go so this is just hammering on to the 9th fret on the 6th string so we hammer on and again we're sort of strumming the low 3 strings so hammer on off and hammer on again and then you get back to the top and do the uh, that bit. And that's the verse that repeats a lot throughout the song. Um, then we've got the chorus, which is this. So we're just moving one major chord shape into three different positions. So starting off where we were in the seventh position, so first finger, seventh fret on the sixth string, then ninth fret 
on the fifth and fourth, and eighth fret on the third string. This is chord one. And we move it down four frets to third position. So now we've got three, five, five, and four. Then we move it down. So we've just basically got uh, your standard E major chord. So open sixth string, second fret on the fifth and fourth, and first fret on the third string. And you'd usually play it like this. You can, of course, play it like that. But if you just want to keep uh, your hand in the one shape, just play it with the fingers you've already got on those strings. And then repeat. the chorus. Um, then the only other part to learn is the bridge and in terms of the rhythm guitar and the bridge goes like this. to the verse there. All right, so we've just got um, some chords that you're probably pretty familiar with. So we've got a C, G, A, and E. So C chord is uh, third fret on the fifth string, second on the fourth, open third string, and first on the second string, and open first string. We go to G which is 3rd fret on the 6th, 2nd and 1st strings, 2nd fret on the 5th and open 3rd and 4th. We've got an A major, open 5th string, 2nd fret on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings, and then E major that we, we know from before. Open low string, 2nd fret on the 5th and 4th, and 1st on the 3rd string. And we just cycle between these. So the first time around it goes C, G, A, E. Second time, whoop, goes to C, G, and just sits on the A. Goes back to C, G, A, E. C, G and the last time you just go back to uh, the verse after you get after you play the G chord. So that's all the parts of uh, the rhythm guitar, guitar one. So I'll show you uh, the lead guitar now, guitar two. So first heard in the intro and. Um, yeah, I've got a little backing track so I'll, you can hear stuff in context. So this is what happens in the intro. So this is um, yeah the intro little lick. So it starts off this little um, bit. So it's tenth fret on the third string, and you kind of want to bend that up slightly, and then twelve on the second. We we'll do this twice, and then we get uh, sit on this twelfth fret on the second string and bend it up to the pitch of the 14th, so up, up a step. So bend it up twice, and then third time, you got this little, this little run, which is 12, bend up to 14, back to 12, 
and 10 hammer on to 12. And then on the third string, nine slide back to seven. And then nine on the fourth string. So you get. Then the last little bit. So on the fourth string, seven, hammer on to nine. And then uh, seven hammer on to nine. And then seven on the third string, nine. And then we sort of just do this little, sort of bend it up and back, but not all the way back. Um, you want to keep it sort of pretty woozy sounding. So that's riff one. Um, so you hear that, and then I think the next bit of the lead guitar happens in the chorus. And there's three choruses in the song, and each time the lead guitar is slightly different. Um, very repetitive, but there are some variations. Um, so chorus one is this. So we're just uh, repeating one little riff. So on the ninth fret, third string, just bending it up. Um, sort of, it's not quite a, a full bend up, and it's a bit more than just a half bend. It's kind of you're not trying to hit a note in particular. You're just kind of making it, just bending it up and back. So do that twice, and then seven, hammer on to nine, then f uh, nine on the fourth string, pluck it again, and then seven, hammer on to nine, slide up to 12, and then back to nine. And you do this four times. So that's chorus one. Then chorus two is slightly different and is this. Alright, so again we're playing a little riff four times. So the first time, exactly the same as what we play in chorus one. Second time around, um, only one bit different. At the very last note, instead of sliding up and back, we just slide up and stay on 12. So you get this. So that's the second little riff. Then the third riff, um, we're doing a similar sort of thing, but just higher. So starting on the 12th fret on the second string, and then bending it up and back twice, and then 10 hammer on to 12, then 11 on the third string, play that twice, and then nine, hammer on to 11, slide up to 14, and then back to 11. And the fourth time is exactly the same as the first time, or the first chorus. Mm -hmm. 
So that's chorus two. And then chorus three um, is quite a bit longer, at least double, double length. And we do a lot of this same thing and just move up the neck basically. Um, so the first time round, uh, we play basically chorus one. So we do that four times. Then, so sort of the start of the repeat of the chorus, we're up to the higher one that we just learnt. We just do that once, and then we move up higher again. Um, so this time, and this, once you get to this, you just play this to the end of the song. So we're starting on the 12th fret on the 1st string, bending it up and back, do this twice, then 10, hammer on to 12, we've got 12 on the 2nd string, play that twice, then 10, hammer on to 12 on the 2nd string, slide up to 15 and then back to 12, so you get... And you just play that to the end of the song. Um, and that's all the lead lines. Um, just through like the second verse, you just hear just um, 12 on the second string, bent up to four, the pitch of 14. So a full bend. Um, just thrown in there. But that's all. Uh, now that's all the uh, lead lines. So thank you very much for watching listening hope you enjoy playing that one uh, it's a really fun tune off rated r really great album uh, like i said at the top of the video you can support me on patreon all linked below as is facebook instagram twitter and the spotify playlist with uh, all the songs i've made tutorials for um, if you like and subscribe that'd be great and if you've got any questions or comments just drop them below in the comments section and i'll try to get to them for you but that's it for this one i'll catch you in the next video cheers